does using different phone numbers to track leads hurt your Google ranking? Don't your phone numbers have to be the same? Okay, yeah, so uh, yes and no. Okay, so basically there's a, uh, an acronym called NAP, which stands for name, address, phone number. And when you're building business listings or business citations as they're known, you want to make sure that you have the same name, address, and phone number everywhere on all of your listings. So it gets challenging though, because how do you know if your phone calls are coming from Yelp or if they're coming from Fine Law or if they're coming from Justia or if they're coming from Foursquare or if they're coming from, you know, wherever. I mean, there's so many different, you know, Chamber of Commerce, if they're coming, wherever they're coming from. And it's not a really great scenario. Um, with Google, one thing you can do is you can, you can add different phone numbers to Google um, for your Google My Business profile. As long as you have that, that NAP phone number, your, your main firm number in there, you can have multiple phone numbers. And you can set your main phone number uh, as a secondary number, and you can use a tracking number for your, um, for, for your homepage or for your, for your Google My Business profile. And that way you can tell when people are going to Google searching personal injury attorney and instead of uh, visiting your website, just using the number that's right there and calling you. Because a lot of people, that happens a lot of times, and you don't necessarily have any way to track it, especially if you're just using your regular phone number. Um, but it's it's tricky. I mean, really, in an ideal world, you do have that same name, address, phone number everywhere. Um, on a website, like for example, for, for us, we actually, we wanna make sure that that same website is on, uh, the same phone numbers on the website also, but what we do for our clients is we use software that ties into Google Analytics, and we have a tracking, a tracking, uh, a telephone tracking system. And the way it works is we put a piece of JavaScript on the website that ties into Google Analytics. And whenever Google Analytics detects that the website, I'm sorry, the visitor came from Google, actually from a search engine, so from you know Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, DuckDuckGo, uh, you know any of the other ones. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what other ones people use, but um, anytime it comes from there, what it does is it basically dynamically changes the phone number on the entire website, and it does essentially like a find and replace type deal, um, kind of like you're in Microsoft Word if you do find and replace. Um, but what that does is that makes sure that the website has the same phone number at, that matches all the NAP and all that type of stuff. So. Um, it's, 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 it's not a great scenario, but yeah, I mean, typically we try to get the same phone number everywhere. We can put a different phone number on the Google My Business profile as long as we do have that NAP phone number in there somewhere. Um, and, you know, that's the answer. So that's, that's, that's typically best practices. Um, now, now I, I also will say this. Citations are becoming less and less important uh, as Google gets smarter. Now, it used to be if you want to rank in the maps, just build a crap load of citations, make them all the same, and you're good. Now, I think it's more important to have the, the most important, you know, niche relevant and local relevant citations. Um, so with that information in mind, you know, so, so for example, like the ones that like pretty much every lawyer has, like Avo and Fine Law and Justia and Martindale Hubble and uh, HG.org, and then you want to get local ones like, you know, Chamber of Commerce, Better Business Bureau, um, you know, yellow pages, Yelp, definitely Yelp, absolutely Yelp, 100% for sure Yelp. Um, you know, and if you get those like kind of main core ones and keep those right, then then that's one way that you can do it. But again, you, you still, you know, it, it's not the end of the world. It's not as big of a deal as it used to be. And it, 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 truthfully, it's kind of starting to back off having to have, have, have everything the same. However, I still do, you know, for our company, we still do keep everything the same and it's it sucks because it's, it's harder to track but it just kind of is what it is unfortunately if you want to rank in google that's just one of the things that we do